Hello and welcome back to Tech It. Yes, yes, yes. So today we're going to do my first tutorial about computer craft and we're going to keep it very, very simple for you guys uh, and also for me. <laughs> so we're going to make the mining turtle and the mining turtle is absolutely amazing and it's so very cheap to make that I would recommend you make it no matter where you are. So let's start off. So the first thing we need to do is make a computer which Surprisingly enough, uses only stone and redstone and some glass, which I'm not sure how that works, but anyways. So, get seven cooked stone, uh, sort of in, in a leg, uh, <laughs> in a leg armor way. Put a redstone dust there as well. A glass pane, so not a glass block, a glass pane. And you make your computer. Very easy. Now, once you have your computer, we can make the actual turtle. So the turtle is just a computer in the middle, chest up under that, and seven ingots around it, and that makes you one turtle. Now once you have your turtle, you can add the diamond pickaxe to it to make a mining turtle. Now this thing is incredibly cool, and there's two main ways of using it. There's the easy way and the hard way. <laughs> the easy way is to just plonk it down right click on it and it sort of gives, gives you this computer screen and you can type in it so there's very simple commands to make it do something if you want to know all the commands you can just type programs i'll tell it tell it everything you can do um the alternative way is to make a disc and just uh add the disc to this turtle and you can program it exactly the way you want it so you could program it to make a tunnel 10, um, 10 deep, 3 wide, 3 high, and then come back to a chest, deposit all the items, or you could do anything you want, which is really cool. But for now, we're just going to do the simple way. So the simple way is to just right click on it, you get this sort of um, interface. Uh, as you can see, I, was, I typed programs and I got all these programs. Now, the two most useful ones, I think, are tunnel like that so tunnel 10 for example now it's gonna say tunneling and it's gonna start now if you say tunnel 10 it's gonna make a tunnel 10 deep and too high free in width so I should actually show you that as well if I put blocks here which would be the third height it's not gonna do that so it's a 2 by 3 keep that in mind um, many people including me would think it's logical that it would make it 3x3, three three, but it doesn't do that. Now, this is just going to continue, and when you right click on it, it just shows you how many blocks it's mined so far, and it has a little inventory here, 9 slots, and it's just going to pick everything up and put it in there, which is pretty cool. Now, if you're lucky enough, well, if you're not running Tech It, <laughs> uh, and you have Computer Craft 1.4, this thing can actually come back to a chest, deposit all the items, and then continue tunneling again, or continue excavating again. Um, but in the current version of TechKit, the recommended version, um, you can't do that yet. So that's a bit of a bit of a hassle. But, you know, it, it's going to take a while before this gets filled up, and then you're just going to have to go find it. <laughs> so the next option is that you're going to use a lot as well, is called Excavate. Now. You can plonk it down, you can type excavate and then a number. So let's say 10. <clears throat> so now it's going to get a hole of 10 by 10. And it's first going to do all the sort of the top layer, which is already empty, so it doesn't really matter, but you know, we'll let it go. <laughs> and after that, it's going to go one down. And again, do 10 by 10 area, one down, 10 by 10 area. Now, if you don't program it and you just say excavate, it's just going to go down to bedrock. So it makes a pretty deep hole. Uh, and it's cheap, you know, it doesn't require any power. Although on some servers, it might require power. Um, if it does require power, just put some redstone or coal in here and it'll power it. So let's see what it's doing. You know, it's still going, which is a bit of a pain. It can fly as well, if you didn't know. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now it's getting on the next layer. So yeah, it's just going to do a 10 by 10 area, and then it's going to return home. Well, actually, it's not going to return home. Um, it's going to return home when the inventory gets full. Um, so if we just oh, if we just right-click on it, and we just cheat a little bit and fill up its inventory, 
There we go. Now it says no empty slots left returning to surface. And it's going to come back to the same spot where you started and it's going to put a block under it as well so that you can just pick up the items even when they fall out. Um, this is a little bit different than with tunnel. So I'll show you tunnel as well. Can I all pick up? Yeah. Um, so I started creating a tunnel here, <laughs> which as you can see, it's pretty long. So let's have a tunnel in this general direction. So we can fill up its inventory or almost, you know, keep, uh, yeah, keep it like that. So now we can say tunnel 400 and it's going to start tunneling and then it's going to say, Hey, you know, I'm getting kind of full with this dirt or I can make it completely full. Now it's not going to stop. It's just going to spit out all the items like that. So keep that in mind when you're tunneling, it's just spitting out the items. Um, but when you're excavating, it's, it'll come back to the surface or to the place where you started it and it's just going to sit there. <laughs> um, I will make another tutorial sometime later, maybe in a week or so, about the actual sort of programming behind the turtle where you actually tell him to move exactly where, where, where. Um, and this is done by Lua Code, which is very popular in games at the moment um, for modding and stuff. So that should be fairly easy to get into. And I might actually make some test scripts as well that you can use um, to make a certain size hole, etc. Um, and when you program it yourself, you can actually tell it to come back to base, deposit all the stuff in a chest or even on the ground and then pick it up with an obsidian pipe or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. So that's the mining turtle. Now they're pretty hilarious. Um, you can put several, you know, th that works. You can say tunnel 500 on this one. And they sort of run after each other. It's not very really helpful, but <laughs> but it works. Oh, and they mine each other as well, apparently. <laughs> They're very competitive, these things. <laughs> yeah, so that's the mining turtle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.